Okay, I went out today and tested my 1200 milliamp setup. It's actually over 1200 milliamps, but anyway. Insane amounts of torque whenever you want it. Neither of the packs are even lukewarm. They're both like outside temperature frozen. No, no heat. This thing's drenched. A little ice crystal there on my uh, receiver. <laughs> uh, yeah, big chunk of ice on my receiver there. I had to uh, paint my fan as well. I could have been out there longer. I I didn't actually time it, but as far as I can tell, an hour and a half. These still have power. My fucking remote started flashing at me hardcore, so I figured I better stop. Yeah, fan's still working good. Fan got wet a couple times and stopped working, so I painted it. It got drenched and it's still working, so beautiful. Let's do a quick little, uh... A little voltage test here, and uh, see what my batteries got left in them. I started them out at 13.23, so 13 volts, 0.23. They don't officially die until 10 volts. One sec, I gotta unplug these. die at 10 volts, and uh, unplug the charger for a sec. I'm actually using a car charger to charge these, so it gives you an idea of how much power these take to charge. Uh, 2 amps trickle charge on a car charger to charge these. Uh, you could use 6 amps, but they get warm and you'll probably burn a, burn a cell out. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. What have I got? 11.93. So definitely I could have been out there for another half hour or so if my remote hadn't have given out. <laughs> oh shit. And I have enough torque. I actually, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ripped one of my beads off the rim. <laughs> Oops. This one's holding. But every now and then that tire will pop off the rim. And fuck, I gotta re glue it again. I tried using uh, just like model glue, but no. It's not gonna do it. So yeah, 27 turn motor. I don't know, I'm thinking I might be brave and fucking uh, throw that 19 turn in with these. Oh shit, I hate that 19 turn motor. I didn't mention that in my other video. Um, whenever I throw in my 19 turn, my distance drops dramatically. Like, uh, 10 to 15 feet max. You drive with beyond 15 feet, it just dies and stops. No steering, no nothing. And with the stock 27 turn, 100 feet maybe? Till today, I thought it was having issues, but turns out it was <laughs> dead remote. So yeah, um... I'm, no... Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that motor. It has, uh... A little resistor set right here. Unless those are garbage, I don't know. No, I just don't like that motor. So yeah, right now I'm just running the 27 turn. I got a 20 coming. HPI 20 turn. Like, basically stock, just 20. And, uh, yeah, the new hardened diff sets are coming, so I'll have four-wheel drive again, finally. So yeah, I got about an hour and a half. 
and it is, yeah. 11.9697. And they die at 10, so I still had another whole volt to go on both packs. So, 1200 milliamps is intense. It's the first time I've ever run this truck, and the friggin' remote died before the truck did. So, uh, I'll keep you guys posted and. Might try my 8800 slim packs soon. I'll probably throw those on once I get my uh, four-wheel drive back, because it is very top-heavy this way. Very top-heavy. I'm flipping it all the time. But still, endless power. I mean, shit, how much more fun can you get than endless power? Oh, and the other thing, uh, the only thing I'm kind of not liking is my truck weighs about 10 pounds. <laughs> but as you see in my videos, my truck controls a lot differently because of the weight. And, I don't know, I figure it looks a lot more